turn now to rising gas prices and growing calls for the government to suspend the gas tax. This comes as a new report reveals just how bad overall inflation is getting on everything from gas to groceries. The cost of oil saw its biggest one day percentage decline in nearly two years Wednesday. That price drop came after the United Arab Emirates called on its OPEC partners to ramp up production while the U.S. and other countries make plans to ban Russian oil. Here at home, an increasing number of lawmakers want to get rid of gas taxes while prices hit these record highs. And it turns out those higher gas prices can also impact other everyday items. From our Tucson ABC affiliate, Shandrea Thomas has more from an economics expert. So the price of oil drives the price of gasoline. Derek Lemoyne is an energy and environmental economics professor at the University of Arizona. He says oil is integrated into more of our daily lives than you think. Traded in a world market, it's not just how much oil does the U.S. use and how much does the U.S. make, it's how much oil is the whole world using at a time and how much oil is the whole world making at a time. So not only do we have increased demand as the economy comes back from COVID, but we've also had various supply disruptions, including now Russia is a major oil producer. As a matter of fact, the Department of Energy says there are more than 6,000 products made from oil, including everything from plastic ice trays to iPhones, toothpaste, medicines, clothing, and fertilizer. Experts say prices on everyday items related to oil are expected to go up in the coming weeks. But plastics are coming from oil. So like there's, oil has its tentacles out, out, all throughout the economy, and all the prices in the economy are going to adjust to that. Heating oil also comes from oil. Um, the whole propane, butane also can come from oil to some extent. The Moyne also says when gas prices go up, electric cars become more attractive. Rising gas prices can also have an impact on your plane tickets. In the 2000s, people started downsizing from SUVs like that. That part of the market crashed when the oil price went up, and it's directly related to their more expensive to drive, right? That's also around the time hybrids took off. And what about electricity? One thing that's not directly affected as much is electricity pricing, because we don't use much oil for electricity in the United States. We use, by and large, natural gas, renewables, some coal, some nuclear. We